The second way in which oxygen isotopes are fractionated is via kinetic processes, for example, evaporation. Evaporation acts on oxygen isotopes because the light isotope of oxygen, oxygen-16, is more readily evaporated from water than oxygen-18. Thus, clouds contain more oxygen-16 than oxygen-18, and the rainfall that comes from these clouds also contains more oxygen-16 than oxygen-18, as does the snow that forms from the rain. When you have a warm climate without snow, most of this oxygen-16 that is that is included in these clouds evaporates, precipitates, and is returned to the oceans. When you have a cold climate, most of the oxygen-16 becomes locked up in ice. And therefore, the water, the seawater, from which this evaporation ultimately derives, becomes more enriched in oxygen-18. Thus, when we have calcite, foraminiferal calcite, that forms from seawater, in a cold climate, the foraminifera will tend to be enriched in oxygen-18, whereas in a warm climate, the foraminifera will tend to be enriched in oxygen-16. Likewise, when we have snow and ice forming in a cold climate, it will tend to be enriched in oxygen-16, whereas when we have a little bit of snow or ice forming in a, in a warm climate, it will tend to be more enriched in oxygen-18.